Mythical morning. Day before yesterday, we set out on a once in a lifetime soup journey. Mm -hmm. We scaled Mount Vesuvius oh. to declare the best instant noodle soup. Then we outswam a soup Nami and named the best fast food soup. Yes. And today, our journey ends as we free climb El Soupy Can <laughs> <laughs> to declare the best Campbell's brand, not a sponsor, cheesy soup. Eight bowls of fragrant flowing fondue. Food flourished before us. Only one to be bestowed the honor of lactose laureate in this cheddar doubleheader, this symposium of sodium, this confabulation of creamy quesos. Which bisque most thick will impress the members of this cheese board? It's time for Soup Supper to Remember! Cheesy Campbell Soups! Oh, wow. Gonna take, I'll give you a few minutes. I'll burst something. Campbell's has over 80 different types of soups, um, but the ones that really stand out as the mmm, mmm, goodest are the cheesy variety, at least I think. And clearly you agree because over 28,000 of you voted and decided on your eight favorite cheesy Campbell soups. Let's meet the soup competing today. We've got baked potato with cheddar and bacon bits soup. Cheddar cheese soup. Baked potato with steak and cheese soup. Roasted red pepper and smoked gouda bisque. Creamy broccoli cheddar bisque. Spicy chicken quesadilla soup. Chicken broccoli cheese with potato soup. And beer and cheese with beef and bacon soup. <laughs> Lots of bees. Our first seed is a baked potato with cheddar and bacon bits soup. It's chunky, y'all. Versus the eighth seed, cheddar cheese soup. That's it, it's just cheddar cheese soup. Cheddar cheese soup. I mean, it says great for cooking, but almost a thousand of you said that it was your favorite soup to just eat plain. I think we gotta start here, because it's, it's, it is so simple. I thought this was more of a cream of mushroom type situation. There's no mushrooms in it. No, I mean that you just, you buy that can just for cooking. Um, that is not great. It's, <laughs> you know what, it might be good in cooking. It's horrible. Y'all. A thousand of y'all. A thousand of y'all you, you must have gotten confused. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but is, over here. That is horrible. Baked potato with cheddar and bacon bits. Good Lord, look at that. Look at how chunky I mean, it's like, this, it's like gravy. It's like eating a gravy bowl. Mmm. Those bacon bits are strong, too. I don't want to take another bite of this because I want to save up the room in my stomach and, yeah. to, and to try to, t and I ain't tasting that again. Hopefully ever in my life. So this Campbell's cheddar cheese, good for cooking, not good for eating on its own. See you later. Oh! I almost banked it. Uh, I want to bank it today. It'll happen. And that means baked potato with cheddar and bacon bits moves on. Okay, we got the four seed baked potato with steak and cheese soup oh. versus the five seed roasted red pepper and smoked gouda bisque. I mean, Chunky does not play. I mean, if anybody's got truth in advertising, it's chunky. That's a, just a piece of meat right there. Nothing in That's it. That's just a piece of meat. Yeah, that is some. That is a chunk, man. Oh, it's a little tangy too. Yeah, it's got that tang. Now this bisque over here, first of all. What's a bisque? A bisque is a smooth, creamy, highly seasoned soup of French origin, classically based on a strained broth of crustaceans. It can be made from lobster, langoustine. Yeah. <laughs> The heck is that? Langoustine. Like it, it's like a very, it, almost like a crawdad. Oh, a Jewish lobster. Crab, shrimp, or crayfish. Uh, this mm. one contains no seafood ingredients. Oh gosh, boy, this is interesting. This isn't is a it? thick tomatoey thing. That is tasty to me. Mm-hmm. And complex. I mean, this is just steak and potato. This, man. this kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I don't have any desire to go back in. So I'm it's going. Almost to... too much. This is fancy and really nice. Bisky to the uh, baked potato with steak and cheese. We're going to see, see you later. ladle. Going left hand. Up, a little bit to your right. Won't try that again. And the winner is the slow kettle style Campbell's bisque. Heads up, we are entering mm -hmm. the last few days for you to join the third degree quarterly or annual plan to be eligible to receive the Mythical Society quarterly collectible, the coveted cloak of mythicality. Listen, you got by September 30th, to do that, go over to mythicalsociety.com. All right, so we've got the creamy broccoli cheddar bisque, another bisque, We're versus it up. spicy chicken quesadilla soup. I was about to say, both of these from Campbell's. Bo both of these from Campbell's. It's the kind of thing that like, 
a sports a sports announcer says when they have nut like there's a law and they're like both of these from camels of course that's the point of we this entire that, exercise Joe. Mm. Uh. Eh. what is happening i thought you were gonna like this because i thought you were like a broccoli soup man i am and i would not even call that broccoli soup it's maybe it's the bisque is the problem i, uh. I was looking forward to this though now I, red i'll just tell you this has 18 grams of protein per can. I don't have to tell you that this has got a very special ingredient. Oh man, like I got four beans in this one bite. It's huge beans. Mm. That's good right there. Yeah, that almost Spicy tastes... pieces of antibiotic free chicken meat, beans, corn, green and red peppers, and cheese. I thought you were gonna say spicy pieces of antibiotics. In a tomato puree. And I was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> Stock up on this one. Uh, this is easy, man. This almost yep. tastes like something you get at a restaurant. So give her the chunk, I totally agree. Something about that, I mean, Campbell Slow Kettle didn't do it for me on this should be on using the fast kettle. See you later. Oh, oh yeah, nice. Right. He danced around, but the chunky spicy chicken quesadilla moves on. Okay, now we got our number two seed, the chicken broccoli cheese with potato soup versus the number seven seed, beer and cheese with mm -hmm. beef and bacon soup. So, th so these are very similar. Did you know that Campbell's tried to make a K-cup version of soup? Back in 2013, they had a, the broth in a K-cup pod and a packet of instant noodles. Nobody bought it. Now this is better than the other broccoli soup. A lot better. Cause the broccoli, something about that stank broccoli in the last this one. This tastes like what you would expect. Your, the chicken, the chicken's not bad. Now beer and cheese, this that's is, hearty. This is interesting. Do you do, now you don't do the, the reason why you're getting it on your beard is you don't do the, the soup rake. You need to do the back of the, back of the spoon soup rake. That, that's a precarious thing. That gets on the side of the thing and then you get it on. It no, it doesn't, everywhere. no it doesn't. If you do it right, it all goes on the inside. Ain't nothing on the outside. I like this. That is a strong beer flavor. That's what I like about it. It makes me realize that I'm doing something interesting with my life. The beer just throws it off for me. It's there's a bitterness. And a, I mean, it. It's like somebody spilled a beer in your. Soup. I like everything in there. And beer. I know that's what it's supposed yes, to be. Cheese, yes. Beef, yes. Right, so bacon, we, yes. We need a tiebreaker, which is the U.S. can open. Us opening a can. Now we're gonna we're gonna put on these gloves because we're going hard. <laughs> we don't want to cut our. This is a this is a race. Whoever opens first, their soup moves on. Where's my? Um... That was the thing. You don't get a can opener. Yeah, I'm gonna do it with my teeth. All okay. right, you Hold ready? On. You, know, you don't get to put. You don't get to apply. It. You gotta you gotta have your can opener up. Three, right. two, one, go. <laughs> Oh, I, I, mine released, mine released. What do you mean yours released? My, mine's already off, see? Uh, oh, got right, it. You went. I'm saying oh, it, let, you made a it, mess. it let go at the very end. And mine get, released! <laughs> so, all right, your goes on, and that means that the, that the chicken, beer, broccoli, see you later. potato. No, you're. I'm not voting for this. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna see you later. This, yours goes on. See you later. And the chicken, broccoli, cheese with potato moves on. All right, semifinals. Baked potato with cheddar and bacon bit soup versus roasted red pepper and smoked gouda bisque. Okay, again. So let's dip down the, into the chunky. This is number one seed. Everybody loves this. You know, you feel the potato and you taste the bacon. That would be a good slogan. Better than mm mm good. Which is their longest slogan? Some you, other ones you include. Don't like, you don't like that one, other one? Mm -mm, good. Mm -mm. Or the soup. You don't like that slogan. Other slogans include "Give me the Campbell life." Ah, uh, that's not good. I'm trying to figure out: is this sour or is it perfect? Um, I mean, this is chunky. It eats like a meal, which I think is a, is it is the chunky slogan at some point. It is a little. It does have a little sourness to it, but so does this. I mm -hmm. mean, it does. Do they all have something in them? This seems intentionally sour in a good bisque kind of way. This, there's like a, I hope they don't notice that it's a little sour. Maybe that should be the Campbell slogan. I think the bacon bisque. I hope they don't notice it's a little sour. I, I'm I'm voting for the bisque. Yeah, me too. Okay. I, I mean, I hate to topple the number one seed, well, but 
You know what? Sometimes yeah, it, you gotta. It's not as good as you think it is. See you later. Oh, too much to your right, and you hit a couple of things like the filing cabinet. So, the smoked red gouda pepper roasted all those words together. Bisque moves on. Yeah. Okay, our other semifinal matchup. We've got spicy chicken quesadilla soup. Uh, and chicken broccoli cheese with potato soup. Mm hmm How many calories in a serving? Because with this, there's 200 calories in a serving of this. Only 180. Yeah, so about the same. 400 per container. Yeah, 430 over here. And you get 75% of your sodium for the day in just one can. See, that's a way to get right to your sodium. This Camels was maligned for having a lot of sodium, and then they reduced their sodium, and they were they got an award in Canada. You get an award for reducing sodium? In Canada. Well, I've never even tried to reduce sodium. People didn't like the soup as much, so they added the salt back. Uh, so that's still a good soup. I remember trying it earlier. Now this one. There's, this is the more classic broccoli cheese kind of taste. But this is, I don't know, man. It has a slightly rotten taste to it. I think we just don't like the che like the straight up the most cheese forward versions of Campbell's soup. This is complex and, and interesting and, and colorful, and there's beans. Yeah, and I'm not even doing it because of the beans. If, if you know the beans weren't there, would you still vote for that? Yeah, but the beans just make it you know completely irresistible to me. Guys, we got to do it. The broccoli cheese and potato soup. See you later. Oh, way off. Which that means the spicy chicken quesadilla soup is moving on. Only 471 votes separate the fifth seed, which is the roasted red pepper and smoked gouda bisque, from the sixth seed, the spicy chicken quesadilla soup. It seems that our taste is, is orange. A, is orange <laughs> and a little in the center. I mean, we're very we're orange vibing today with your mug, on, your feel good sweatshirt available on, at mythical.com. Do you think that's what happened? My gloves. Do you think the fact that we've got so much orange happening, we just were drawn to orange? Because I feel like we got to redo the whole thing if that screwed us up. Well then no, that's not the reason. <laughs> okay. The roasted red pepper's good. And the, and it's got that it's got these little orange like grease flecks that are floating in it. The grease flecks, yeah. And that's fun. This one is much creamier, beanier. And meteor. Is there actually any meteors in this? Wow, that is not super easy to know the difference. I mean, no, no well, mm -hmm. I know the difference. Unintended. But it's not easy to know the winner. That's a fancy, fancy. I mean, let's look at, there's 180 calories. 180 calories. Oh, crap. This comes in a microwavable thing. We're looking at 298 for that versus 178 for this. So it's pricier. You can microwave right in it, so that evens out. I don't know, man. Only one can sit atop the golden steps of whatever we call this. The gold stoop soup, soup it, stoop. It's very close, but I think we gotta chunk it. I'm with you, Bean Man. Yeah, it's the spicy quesadilla is better. Okay, one time, make it count. See you later. Yes! <laughs> That's a way to go out! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah! All right, there you go. The best nom, cheesy nom, Campbell's nom. soup that you can get is the spicy chicken quesadilla soup. You won't even fit through your door, so you're gonna have to bring it in through the garage. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. This is Nathan. And I'm Nikki. And we just got married. We are at the Dragon's Teeth in Maui. And, and it's, it's time, time to spin, spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Congratulations. I was expecting a giant wave to just envelop them. Mm. I wasn't hoping for it, I was just expecting it. Well that's, what does that say about them? I, it just means I watch a lot of internet videos where people will get yeah. nailed by waves on the beach. Okay, <laughs> click the top link to watch us determine the best cracker to dip in soup in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Cloak yourself in mythicality with our newest society exclusive item, a secret society cloak. Sign up for the third degree quarterly or annual plan by September 30th at mythicalsociety.com to be eligible.